Chase, go! Oh, it's told. Oh, yes! <laughs> so, hello, everyone, and welcome to Jurassic World Evolution 2 Dominion, where I've been, uh, or at least I've been given access to the, the new Dominion uh, campaign thing that's happening. Uh, thank you to Frontier, of course. So, here we are, Dominion campaign. I'm assuming it's this one. So, we'll just jump in, and I guess. <gasps> As John Hammond realized his vision for Jurassic Park, his competitors began to see the potential of InGen's work. One of their main rivals, Biosyn, looked to close the That's gap not a Jeep. by stealing the advantages that InGen and Dr. Wu had worked so hard to gain. To do this, they would need someone on the inside. So they enlisted a disgruntled computer engineer named Dennis Damn Nedry. Wayne Knight. A plan was devised to steal InGen's dinosaur embryos with an inconspicuous canister created to house the precious commodity. <gasps> Nobody really knows what happened that fateful night. What is certain is that Dennis Nedry and the samples were never seen again. Until... Biosyn had failed. Unfortunately, so too had Hammond's dream. Decades later, businessman Simon Mizrani tried again, this time succeeding in delivering Hammond's vision to the world. Tragically, things Lol didn't joke. go as planned. <laughs> Biosyn was waiting for its time, and they found it in the aftermath of Jurassic World's downfall. Now, oh. led by Lewis Dodgson, a new era was dawning. While we don't know what the future holds, History has a habit of repeating itself. So you're saying it's going to fail then? Sweet, cool. Oh, happy thoughts there, Claire. So we're playing a, uh, so not a completed version of this game. So there's only like a certain mission we can get up to. And there's only certain, uh, certain things that'll be working. So anything, any bugs or glitches. Just look at it. It's beautiful. We are so close to realizing Biosyn's dream. One that InGen could never achieve. Once we get dinosaurs here, it will be perfect. A perfect display of evolution. Luck favors the bold. We were prepared. Now we need to finish the job. Give me the latest on the animals. We're isolated, which makes for a challenging landscape. We are still at a disadvantage until we understand more about this ecosystem and how our new friends will adapt to it. We need more information and time. The last thing we want is for them to not adapt and die. Oh! Oh, they'll adapt. I believe that. That's one of the characters they from Dominion. They adapted to two parks and a few islands. They're adapting now. They'll be just fine. Just get them here. I'm not sure we are totally ready to understand everything we need to. Just get them here. Leave the rest up to Mother Nature and me. Oh, I'm assuming that was Dodson? Hold on, let me just uh, turn on what Jimmy calls it. Okay, don't know where subtitles are. I apologize. We're just gonna have to go without. I think what InGen had and fumbled away. Ooh. They never saw the bigger picture. Okay, what's our next step? There he is! I don't want Lewis to Dodson! Getting this going. Ooh. What is oh, so we got whole new buildings. Well, <gasps> it all starts with the control center. Remember, it needs to be connected to the Hyperloop network. All right, then. Get started. A Hyperloop network. Oh, okay. Is this a new way to make a park? Oh, that would be a cool idea. Wait, where the hell am I? <laughs> oh, here we go. There's a Hyperloop. <gasps> Is this supposed to be like stuff underground instead of... Oh, oh can I not do that? Have I, have I messed this up? Because I can't actually get to it. Oh no, there we go. <laughs> we are done. Are these new trees? Yeah, they are new trees. Yeah, it's like the mangrove swamp with the Therizinosaurus. Oh, ooh, interesting. I like this. I like it. Yes. So wait, this is the lake went all the way to the Biosyn facility, didn't it? Everything's in place for us to get our new research compound constructed. I guess we'll see it later. Great. Then we can focus on getting it operational. Okay, right. Uh, I mean, I'm not really, we're not really gonna focus on building a pack, are we? Am I, oh, oh, right, okay, so I'm not, I'm not, oh, Jesus. 
well of well and truly screwed myself up here a little bit, haven't I? I like the hyperloop. Yes, we're all about circles in this place. Isaac, update. Everything is going to plan. We should have the research we need shortly. Ooh. Great. Carry on. <laughs> I don't know if this is this actually um, the guy who's playing Lewis Dodson because <laughs> doesn't sound like he's all there. Great. Carry on. <laughs> So advance the construction and research compound. Right, research. Okay. Uh, ooh, this is all new. Stage one core facility. Is that what I'm going for? Okay. It has been so long since I've played this game. Ah, oh, if only you could have Henry Wu. That would be so cool if you could unlock, like, Henry Wu as a scientist and he had extra perks and stuff. That'd be awesome. One day, James. One day. Oh, we got $23 million Wu's. It's really not that much. <laughs> you think about it. <laughs> Right, we did it. Listen to the mission briefing. Cool. Okay, that did it. We have access to the core facilities research. Great. Our vision is coming together of each building we get operational. Ooh. We just need to ensure we can handle all the dinosaurs when they arrive. It's all starting to come together, just as we envisioned. We are leaving InGen in our dust. Well, I will give them some Ooh. credit. They did resurrect the dinosaurs from extinction. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> oh, there's all these fountains and stuff. I want to see Very a functioning facility. That is the oh, oops. The only way we can secure the dinosaur survival. Absolutely. We'll get it done. See that you do. Right. Response. A lot is riding on it. Okay. Well, I'm assuming this is just going to be the hub for our operation. So we'll get that paleo medical facility as well. Good. I can get that too. We're very quiet. Why are we quiet? Is that licensed sounds? Because I noticed we've got that turned off. I've never really had a problem with that, if I've got to be honest, though. We'll have this bit there. I mean, when it comes to, you know, recording sessions like this, it's like, just get it done, get it done, see everything. We want to see everything. <laughs> we'll probably do, like, a full playthrough of it when it properly comes out. Is it that? Is it that that we want? I don't even know where, the, like, an entrance is, unless that counts as an entrance. Right, so we've got to do little paths. Pay for path. Heck yeah, the best thing the Frontier has ever done. Boom. We've been authorized to expand our team, specifically scientists. Look over the candidates and let's add some to our operation. Right, did we want a logist? Well, that's a genetic. We'll take him. Uh, wait, what did it say? Oh, right, okay, so we need at least three welfare and one logistic. Gotcha. All right, let's have a look. Uh, well, that's the three welfare. Seven potential. Very good. Uh, and then logistics. You probably already got the logistics sorted now, actually. I didn't check his. But uh, the best other logistics, I guess, is you. Oh, beautiful. Yes. Hey, I have exciting news. We're closing in on some exclusive biosyntech. Oh. Invisible fencing. It'll secure the animals while removing the traditional man-made constructs that have surrounded their environments. Interesting. So, no visible barrier between us and the dinosaurs? That sounds terrifying. Uh, uh, uh. The more these animals believe ah. they are not in cages, the healthier they will- Is that true? Yeah, that will make them easier to care for. I think we'd better place some research outposts as well. We can- observe our animals safely from there okay research outposts so i think right okay we're not finished researching so once that's researched we'll go and do that improve technology isaac we've got an issue we're in need of more power how close are we to maximum output already there we won't be able to hold much longer and we'll need to research how to get more upgraded power stations is the way forward let's get to it this is the this is the facility. I'm an idiot. It's under construction. Yeah, it's slowly being built. Right. Okay. Also, we saw the dam where the pyroraptor uh, is supposed to be. Where you know Chris Pratt defies all hypothermia hypotheses or whatever. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. Okay. Well, we've done that. So now we need to increase apply the increased output generator. Ooh, I could do that. I'm a good boy. Yes. Before we go any further, there's something I want from you. Through my connections, I've arranged for a number of dinosaurs oh, to be delivered here to our facility. They're coming all the way from Isla Sorna, so you'll have some time to prepare for their arrival. I'm confident you won't let me down. 
They're going to need enclosures, secure enclosures. Safety is essential for them and us. And we have to get this right. We don't need another InGen or Masrani incident. Absolutely. We will do better. Oh. Just realized I had uh, I had not muted myself on Discord, so I don't know exactly how much that was recorded. Sweet. <laughs> everyone else heard me. Oh, we, wait, what? Uh, give me two minutes. Oh, I'm sorry. I was having a little session there in the helicopter. Uh, arrival of Stegosaurus imminent. Right, okay. So, invisible fences? <sighs> yeah. There's the invisible fence. Okay. So, this is interesting. I wonder if this has anything to do with the story. Frontier just kind of were like, oh, well, everybody wants invisible. Like, that's the first thing that people started trying to do was make invisible enclosures. Uh, with decorations and stuff. And also, it's like a bit like Camp Cretaceous in a way. Because Camp Cretaceous also had that going on with the uh, the drones and stuff. And it was like, ah, they can't go that way. <gasps> We've got fog! Okay, well, let's transport the two Nazutoceratopses. Uh, yeah? Wait, how many are there? I thought there was only two. Why is there like 25 of them? Uh, so we got Stegosaurus and then we got Paris. Okay. So maybe we might need just a little bit of a bigger enclosure. Oh, this is six for security. Wow, this is this would even keep like a T-Rex in during a storm. Yeah, I, I know. How, I remember how to make a park. Yeah. Um, right, forest. You're still discovering that. I think you're going to have that fine. Maybe you might need some water, though. Okay, for some odd reason, I can't mouse scroll when I'm in this, so I can't really tilt my screen. Okay. Right, Stegosaurs, you're- wait, 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 danger to guests? How? We've made a thing. Isn't it secure? Oh, it's not secure. Oh, I'm an idiot. This has taken a, a bit longer to construct this fence. Ah, yeah, here we go. Hopefully it doesn't, you know, go out over here. Although saying that, oh, uh, yeah, six- No, 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 no. Do they not get on with Ceratopsids? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Ceratopsid has already died. Sweet. I was told going into this to uh, try to keep my dinosaurs separate in case they kill each other. I forgot about, you know, freaking herbivores doing this, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, I think um, two Nazuda Ceratops died, so therefore I couldn't get all my dinosaurs. That would cause a big issue. <laughs> I'm assuming they had a fight with the Stegosaurus. Yeah, yeah. Skate forward! Woo! I think, didn't they do something like this, though? They, they, there was a mod for this where you could make like uh, the power stuff underground as well. I'm pretty sure. Right, speedrun tactics. Speedrun tactics, let's go. Do or the dinosaur survival. Absolutely, we'll get it. It's like oh, so far away from the mic. Absolutely, we'll get it done. Yeah, look at this. This looks way better than we had last time. Guys, you have no idea. It's just so much better. Like, so much better. In fact, actually, uh, nah, never mind. I'm an idiot. And then, ha ha! Sorted! We've been off to start our team. Specifically, scientists. Look over the. Already done. Next is welfare. I don't know, put all everybody on it who we need. Yeah, there we go. Right, okay. So, basically, this time. We've got an issue. We're in need of- Oh dear. <laughs> okay, I think I've, I've- I caught up to where I was last time in like two seconds. It's brilliant. <laughs> just shows how much time I waste. So Wait, why do we need a gate if he can just drive over it? <laughs> That's so weird. Oh, look at- Oh, I like the Jeep. It looks angry. <gasps> right, so what have I done? Invisible fence. Yes, I've done stuff. There's the research outpost. That's the new thing. This is where Giga might die. Woohoo! Right, we need to construct it into the loop. Does it need a path? Or does it just go underground? Oh, I don't know. Well, Stegosaurs can go in the smaller one. And the smaller one, I think, is this one? Oh god, don't die. Yes, there we go. Good, good. Okay. Uh, research outpost. I'm just gonna say we'll put it there. Um, I don't know if we really need a pavement for it, because maybe we just go underground in the hyperlink, yes! And just like that, we have subtitles on. Hey! All right, okay, everything else, Quan. Speed up. Whoop. Oh, yes. Actually, this is way bigger than I thought it was. Oh, my God. Yeah, this could easily kill a Giga if it's squashed on it. Sweet. I don't think it will. I, I mean, I hope it doesn't. Okay, so place on where there's not trees. Interesting. Okay. All right. Stegosaurs, what do you want? 
You want forest? You wait. You want more forests? Good God. Okay. Well, you need a little bit of water. That's you sorted. You want more forest? Or, oh wait, no. You want groundnut. I don't know. I think I think they're gonna need to be a little bit bigger. Okay, paras. I thought that would have been fine for the stegos, but I guess not. Okay, let's let's put this on regular speed now while I just sort these guys out. They have explored all of their territory and they're still not happy. It looks like the enclosures are ready. We need to make these habitats as desirable for the dinosaurs as we can. Oh, it's gonna be a push! Ah! Oh, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. We'll leave them like that. It is at the brink <laughs> for them. I'm happy with that. Right, Paris. What do you want? Water. Okay, well, that's that's a given, isn't it? Everything needs water to survive, dear. There you go. More water? How much water? There's all the water you want. And you want groundnut. Right, there you go. There's your groundnut. Okay, so you're okay. But the Nazutoceratops aren't. Because they want ground leaf. Well, you want leaf? I'll give it to you. There we go. I'm a real park builder. <laughs> so what does this thing do if we click on it? Show view. <gasps> Ooh, this is where the giga comes to nom on Chris Pratt. Sorry, Owen Grady. Oh, we can raise and lower. Oh, look at this. Ramsey, I've been going through the data and I think we can make some real progress if we get a research outpost connected ah. to our hyperloop. Yeah, makes sense to me. Awesome. Ooh. Let's make it happen. Can we not change view? Without proper oh, security, cool, we slip into the same chaos that brought down our rivals. But our ranger team should be capable of maintaining order. Oh, we'll I've already done everything. Necessary patrol. Sweet. Yeah. I don't have to remind you, remote monitoring can only go so far. Of course. We'll get right on yes. it. Yes. Oh, expeditions. Ooh, I've heard some about amber mines as well here. Have you ever heard the phrase, you are victims of your own success? Nope, nope, never heard of it. It's where you find yourselves. Both of you. You're so Not sure I amazing. Follow. It means we're doing our job, so we can take on even more. Whatever the challenge, we're ready. Then welcome to the Biosyn Genetics Research Compound Phase 3. This will allow us to continue expanding our genetic engineering division and take our operations to the next level. Biosyn is counting on you. More importantly, you know what it is. I'm just gonna make more. Counting on you. I bet you are, Lewis. Right. I don't know what we're okay. gonna be getting, but we're we gonna ready need to more. build an expedition center. Don't forget, we'll need a fossil center too. Understood. These buildings will put Biosyn at the cutting edge of bioengineering. Expedition. Ho, ho, ho. Right out. Oh, yeah, I'm glad I didn't go too far now. Yes. Yes. Oh, so this one doesn't need to be connected by a hyperloop. Right. Certain buildings do, but other ones don't. Right. So we need a fossil center. So, you know, the classic sort of thing. Oh, it's a mini one. Oh, it's so cute. Although we need more power now. You know what? Seeing as that's the end, I guess we'll put that there. We'll connect the path. We'll have this cut through this way, yes! And then, we'll connect that bit up. Uh, but we now... Ooh, what is going... That's a weird angle. Yeah, just... Why don't you clip? Damn it! <laughs> You're not perfect! Right, we need more power. So we need another... Ooh, a backup generator. Or oh, we could get this. Well, who cares about money? We'll just do more of this. Boom! Oh, the hyperloop. Whoa, whoa! There's stuff going in! Oh! <gasps> This is how we get power. Uh, right, cool. So, I'm assuming we put the Hyperloop. Yeah. Ooh, so it's going from our main building. <gasps> you know what it is? I feel like in the, the novel, the Jurassic Park novel, wasn't there something like this? Like an underground thing? I'm pretty sure there was. Right, so it's not uh, fully done just yet. It's not powered. We're gonna get there. I hate that it's night. I hate that it's- Oh, Amber Mine! My understanding Ooh. is that we're ready to send out a team? That's correct. Good. What do we I need? I want you to start with an Amber Mining Expedition. This valley wasn't chosen by accident. This area is rich with Amber. And I intend for oh. Biosyn to exploit that. Insects trapped in prehistoric tree sap. That is what we need. This is where our dinosaurs begin. This Amber? is going to be the time capsule that links us back to the era of the dinosaurs. It's a window <laughs> to the past. And 
worth billions. Ramsey, have our scientists extract what they can from the fossils? That'll increase our genome diversity. Yes, on it. And so was Alan Grant? Because we, we've seen Alan Grant with the Dimetrodon, or like do in the Amber Mines. Again. Ooh, oh, I like this. This is good. <gasps> Dimetrodon. Oh, the Amber looks nice. I like it. Uh, right, so they're still doing this thing. That's fine. Yes, so it's all Amber now. There's no bones. Oh, yeah, I forgot about people being overworked. Ha! <laughs> oh, can we now have two? Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, oops. Um, rest. Oh, we can get more scientists. Sweet. Um, you can also... How do you upgrade them again? I think you have to research that. I have to research you being better. You can't just do that in your own spare time. Uh, well, more genetic. I don't even know what I've got, but pff, genetics and logistics are basically the main things that I want. Uh, so we might want to send off another expedition team back. Oh, I can't. Why not? Is everybody busy? Yes, everybody's either resting or is working. Okay, cool. So these look any different? No, I like the fog though. That looks so sweet. I don't know. I'm assuming it's just with this map, but the trees look nice. Stegos are the lost world stegos, which is interesting, but I, it makes sense. They're from Isla Sauna, I suppose. Um, so there we did it. We got, ooh, do we, do we make it? Oh. Construct the hatchery, yes, we do. That's it. We've had a breakthrough. An entirely new genome. So what you're saying is we've discovered a new dinosaur? One we've never seen before? Sort yes. It is incredible, but it's not actually a dinosaur per se. It's oh. a prehistoric synapsid called Dimetrodon. Hmm. Did Hammond have one of these? I don't believe so. No. Perfect. Well, there's a toy of it, though. A Biosyn exclusive. This DNA is only part of the puzzle, though. We still need to build a hatchery and then synthesize this new breed. I got Once you covered. Done that, we can incubate and release them. I can't wait. <laughs> I sound so enthralled. I can't wait. <laughs> oh, yeah, heck yeah. Let's release all of them and make sure they're all terrible. There you go. More of those. Right, before that's done, let's put some people on rest. So you go Bobos, and you're already working on something. So you can go Bobos afterwards. <gasps> We're going to see Dimetrodon being released. Woo! Oh, this is exciting. I want to know what Lewis Dodson's plan is. Like, what, 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 what does he get out of this? He's not trying to make a park. So what, 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 what are you doing? Oh, I've got to do four of them. Ah, okay, so it was probably guaranteed. Right, let's release Dimetrodon. Oh! Yeah, <laughs> Aren't you guys pretty? I finally get it. I finally understand why people have a fear of the dark. Once you peer into the shadows and see a pair of Dimetrodon eyes staring back at you, well, you'll be having nightmares for years. That's if you're lucky enough to walk away, because believe me, not everybody is. All right, so they need a little bit of water. And they want sand. Ooh, okay. Well, you can have a lot of sand. There you go. And then you're pretty much done. You want a lot of water, actually. <laughs> no, I've taken away the sand. More sand. And then we'll remove some of the trees. There you go. How's that? Well, I mean, this. I think this is a really big enclosure for you guys anyway. So, yes, look at you. Oh, that looks awesome. Yeah, it looks pretty good. You know what? I like this design. It's, I don't think it's as good as the Walker with Monsters one, because like the colors are just iconic, but this looks, this is a close second. Look at it in the water. <laughs> oh, that looks awesome. Man, that's great. I, I kind of want to see them eat a goat though, actually. Uh, we'll put a goat in here as well, because I want to see that animation. Yes, that's what we want. Let's see the goat eating animation. And the ghost go. <laughs> Thanks oh, we got research. Efforts, it's becoming clear that Biosyn will be the home of paleobiology moving forward. Ooh, this'll do it. The future is found in the past. Ah, I like that. Sure, we've had some difficulties. That was expected, but you handled it well. I think we can now move forward with the next phase of Biosyn. We have a world-class operation. Let's take oh. it over. Biosyn will represent the past, <laughs> present, and future. So... What do we focus on next? 
We focus on upgrading our research <laughs> steps on That'll give us benefits across the board. I want a crown jewel. Something we can all be proud of. Do the research. We're shooting for 100% complete dinosaur genomes. The genetic link between birds and dinosaurs has long been established. Now, with a feathered dinosaur, we can oh. finally have our proof. Yeah, with a living spec. Oh, okay. Magnificent. Yeah, with a... <laughs> Biosyn is at the brink of excellence. Everything in Gen aspired to be, and more. It is truly something. I, I just... Just what? Well, this is the point InGen thought they had everything in place. Then it all unraveled from there. <laughs> yeah, let me put your fears to rest. I am not Hammond. He was all ego. I am not Mazrani and his tech-first approach. We are... But you are, though! And that is what we're going to do. Oh, no, I, I didn't mean to imply that... No, no, I understand what you're trying to say. There is truth in it. But we're in a far better position to succeed because others have failed. Hammond and Mazrani both brought tremendous advances to the world. They just had a narrow vision of it. We do not. We see the whole picture. We see the balance of it. Where there are advancements, there needs to be a business that supports it. That makes sense. Look, <laughs> Biosyn's not just interested in the dinosaurs. They have the potential to provide improvements for all life on this planet. So that's what it was if supposed to look like. If we don't jump on this opportunity, <laughs> someone else will. So why not us? <laughs> why not Earth? <laughs> Wow, okay. Yeah, I had a feeling that, that we were going to see this. Um, we're looking for research on a very specific oh. animal. If I were to say that its name means Olympus Fire Thief... A pyroraptor? Yes, exactly. Before we can proceed any further, we'll need to send a team out for pyroraptor amber samples. No problem. It looks like we should be able to achieve a complete, uncompromised genome with the pyroraptor. That should make Dawson happy. Oh, you can go lower. Ooh, I like that idea. Research the following. Ah, that's why I couldn't find it. We need to go to level two. I'm assuming gene modify. No, not gene modification. Amber mines. Here we go. Level two. Have 50 operatives in your facility. Ooh, what do you mean operatives? <laughs> Excuse me? Okay, well, apparently I just had to open the park. 50 operatives? Do you mean open the park? Yeah, I know that one. <laughs> oh, okay. Are you actually are you actually killing each other? Uh, is this because you're not happy? Ah, you don't have enough water. Oh, my bad. Sorry. So we got the Metrodon. We're going to get a Pyroraptor now as well. So we may as well just go in here. May as well, may as well, may as well. May as well, may as well. <laughs> go into here and make a little Pyroraptor enclosure. Thing is, I think I made the Metrodon enclosure a little bit too big, actually. Um, in comparison to what they want. Like, they're happy with literally just this. Like, that's all they need. They just want, like, a bath. May as well just, like, curve that in there. There you go. <laughs> so I can get some power. So just do the research. Speed that up. It looks so good with the fog and everything. Like, look at the building. Ooh, it's so nice. A little lovely cup of tea, please. Right, so now we've got that. We can go into the amber mines. We can go to level two and find where this pyroraptor is. Dimetrodon. No, no, it is locked, I think. I need to go into research. I need to go into here, I think. Yes! I know what I'm doing! So I need that, and then that, and if there's anything for cheaper expeditions... No, that's, that's cool. Okay. See what this guy looks like. I'm assuming there'll be something about, like, keep the dinosaurs viewable. So we'll just uh, have a... Oh, I can't go round. Oh! <gasps> But there is this one. Hallelujah. So you have to be very careful about where you place these things because there's only so many ways that you can keep an opening. Because I've still got this one, this this chute that I can head off to another power station. There it is. It's on level one. What the hell? <laughs> Why did I need level two? Rubbish. They just want me to research it. Make work for myself, didn't they? All right, then you can go on a rest. So I'm assuming that we don't actually have any amenities. So there's no like 
food and and uh, toilets and stuff, which is kind of good. I'm kind of happy for that because that's kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, so now, hey, 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 ooh, there's no ones, but you know what? We'll do that. Yes, and you do your genetic specialist. You can do it a double time. So we've got the Pyroraptor ready. I don't know what, I mean, maybe we'll see Giga or a Thero or something. We'll connect those two together, add a gate. Why not? Because apparently they can't just drive over the thing. Although they can drive over this one. Okay, it doesn't seem to make a difference when I open gate. <laughs> just kind of curious. Uh, right, so we want to go to the Ammon Mines again. Uh, is there another one for the Pyroraptor? Maybe I will need level two to get the final bits of Pyroraptor. Yeah, I'm going to assume so. Right, where did you go? We need to dig deeper underground. Oh, maybe they don't eat goats. Okay, maybe a goat's too fast for them. No, they just want that. Cool. Okay. All right, so we'll put in one of those for the Dimetrodon. And I don't even know what this one is, but we're going to put that outpost in there. And... Can it have more assignments or am I going to reach my limit? No, we're still good. We've got one more assignment to put on them. I like how you look so angry, though. They have mean eyes. Maybe that's some sort of intimidation tactic. Right. Oh, we didn't even get all of Pyroraptor. Oh, sweet. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Wow. Don't exactly know what all these mean. The Biosyn Genetics Research Compound enables research of new technologies, dinosaurs, modifications, and facilities. Oh, we got a complete... Like a uh, feathered dinosaur with now. With a little research, we should be able to get a batch of Pyroraptors ready for release. Ooh. All right, then. Let's get a team on it. It may not be easy, but Randomize. it is necessary. <laughs> sure. Can you Why imagine not? what would have happened already to this facility without us being here? <sighs> I'd rather not. Me either. So let's stay on task. Biosyn needs us, and the dinosaurs need us even more. The Pyroraptors. So is Alan Grant working for them then? Let's try and make it as suitable as we can for them. The last thing we need oh is for these animals to be irritated. Uh, affects whole territory if alpha. Okay. Oh, these guys don't look like they're going to be happy campers, but all right, sure. Hey, lift. One, two, three. They'll definitely want food. So we'll put a goat in. Uh, actually, do we need meat? Nah, they probably just want prey, if anything. And we'll also... Add the quintessentials like a Vasa. I'm going to All right, let's see this guy. Some of my up. Wait, what? To obtain dinosaurs from Isla Nublar, and now I think it's the right time to bring them here. We Ooh, can't look at you. Them, I can't right? see you. Because I really don't want to let this opportunity pass us by. Now we are really getting somewhere. This is the okay. bison I'd always envisioned. I'm pleased to report that our biodiversity is solid. The facility can support a range of animals. That means all of our... Well, Biosyn's dinosaurs are in play. We could not be in a better position. But... It leads me to think... Think about what? Don't we owe it to the pew, world pew, pew. to bring more to the table? Every new species presents Biosyn with new possibilities. Medicine materials math ah this is how the locusts come into it but i am an impatient man i want to show the world our full potential and i want to do so now that is the only way okay calm down in gen i want them to be a distant memory right now i want more wow. species as fast as you can make them. Don't pepper me with excuses on why not. I need ways to make this a reality. With all due respect, there is a risk to everything we do. The more species we bring back, the more complex of a biosphere we have to manage. We can only push so far. Hmm. When you think you have pushed as far as you can go, push harder. This genie is not going back in the bottle. I love this guy. He's brilliant. It's like, I'm not all about ego, I swear. I just hate it in gen. <laughs> right, where's, th where's this Pyroptor going? I can't, yeah, I kind of just want to have a look at Pyroptor. Can we have a look? Yes. Du oh, during day, that's going to look gorgeous. You know what? Loads of people hate on the design. It's not bad. It's not bad. Right, okay, let's give the Gallimimus to him. <laughs> feed, my precious feed. So we've just got Ankylosaurs and then I'm just... I, I feel like Stiggy Moloch's going to get on with Ankylosaurs, right? I feel like that's going to be a thing. Uh, so you 
Oh, perfectly fine now. Thank God. Yes. Oh, look at that with the um the fog and stuff. That looks so good. Damn. When you get proper sunlight in here, when it's not in this weird in-betweeny, this will look great. Is that like a random rock? Like, can I delete that rock or is that... No, it's just part of the uh, the scenery that they clipped through. Sweet. <laughs> We've still got this guy who's a danger to guest. I don't know how or why, but uh, we'll also uh, just pepper, pepper in some stuff that this guy wants as well. He wants some ground leaf. That's a lot of ground leaf, actually. Uh, and then he wants... Oh, God, how many... How many things do you want, sir? Oh, I don't like the way this is going. Uh, he's, he's, he's above happy, though. And, and six Stiggy Moloch. Okay. I'm going to put them all in here. Hopefully, Ankylosaur gets on with Stiggy Moloch. Yeah! It just doesn't like other Ankylosaurus. Th there is an Asaurus. And carnivals. That's fine. So, I think the Gallimimus must be fine. I'll just check them. They're, they're, oh, they want ground leaf. Okay. We are going to need a lot of ground leaf. Yep, so we're gonna have to actually expand this. <gasps> it looks so cool though. It's been ages since I've made a park park. So this is nice. I like it. And then there should be enough space for every dinosaur to sort of get whatever they need. Because I didn't realize that Ankylosaur needed so much bleeding space. Oh, come on, you got this. An ailment? This is what I was afraid of. There is a disease spreading through oh, our Oh God! This is what happens COVID. when you push too far. We'd better start researching a cure and do it like yesterday. Do what you have to and do it oh, yesterday. Quickly. We can have a full-scale disaster on our hands if we're not careful. I got this on the cover me! I'm a pro leak! I just want to have a look more at that pyraptor. Yes, look at you! Right, disease dinosaurs. Do we know what it is? Cryptosporidius or whatever it's called. I yeah, that's that's a common one. And I'm used to that one. Uh, it'll be ailments, so it'll be here. Crypto, 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 crypto. Tuberculosis, that's the one. Yeah, there you go, sort. Easy peasy. <laughs> don't call me the Game of Beaver for nothing. But, well, they only call me that, I don't know why. <laughs> oh, you need more forest. That's fine, there's plenty of forest out here. And a Kylosaur, yes, yes. The blowing Pyraptor, though. Uh, actually saying that, there is a lot of... I think if I wanted to, I could probably make some free space and he'd probably be okay. Yeah, it's just because it hadn't researched... Oh, sorry, it hadn't... It hadn't researched enough. It hadn't, uh, like, explored its environment enough. <gasps> oh, is it gonna eat the goat? Go eat the goat, you're hunting! I think you're probably gonna have the raptor animation, though, aren't you? Yes! Yes! Oh! Oh, it kind of... Oh, he made it a bit different. Oh, that was cool. It's like flying. I'm flying with wings <laughs> this time. Oh, I didn't look at the paras. Oh, they Jurassic Park 3 paras. Nice. So Nazutoceratops was from Isla Sauna as well. Interesting. Okay, okay. So we got one more dinosaur diseased. And how many dinosaurs do we have in the park now? That's it. I think we've done all we can. We've optimized the compound as much as possible. It can support everything you wanted. The choice is all yours. Well, ours. The choice is ours. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna second that, really. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you two. It would be foolish of me not to include you in what happens next. We don't want any missteps. You know, I'd like to see what this facility is really capable of. Me too. I think it can handle more dinosaurs. Well, I know we can. Uh, I'm proud of you both. This is Biosyn at its best. Any dinosaurs we still need in the facility? Let me check the research. Yes, there We've is an Asaurus. Sure we get them all. This is too great an opportunity to miss. Once in a lifetime, right? I mean, for the dinos and for us. With all that's Where's happening, staff? we still want to keep an eye on our dinosaur visibility and comfort ratings. Agreed. Let's keep them on target. Okay. We need to know what happens when we release a Pyroraptor and it fights a Dimetrodon. It's a completely new animation. We're gonna do it. And we actually get to see its release animation. It's probably gonna be similar to the Raptor, though. Let's be honest. Whoa. Oh, a little bit of a flap. It looks evil. 100% looks evil. So let's see how this guy does. 
really, 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 I should put the hatchery over here. Just because we'll get better lighting when we release creatures. I want to get a Therizinosaurus. If we can get a Therizinosaurus, I will be more than happy. Oh, 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 that's a fight. Oh, here we go. Oh my god, we got capture. Oh, I've got freaking capture mode. Right. Oh, oh, a little, little barge there. Nice. I like it. I like it. Well, what else are you going to do? Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. Kind of seen that before. We've got to have them fight. We've got to have them fight. About 45 minutes left. So you've got quite a lot of time left. Okay, so I've got 45 minutes left. And if I complete this mission, then it'll complete the game, which is not very good. Um, so and I don't think these guys are actually going to kill each other. Like a 54 and a 56. Ah, if something happens, we'll we'll be able to see. So basically, my my new goal is to, if we look into here, you've got Giga at the end, a Biosyn Genetics DNA four uh, prerequisite node, Biosyn Genetics DNA three, which is this one, I think. Yeah. So in order to get that one, we need this one, and we have the stuff. Uh, so it's a lot of that. Uh, that's that done, and th I want Therizinosaurus. We need to see Therizinosaurus against a Pyro or something. That's going to look sweet. So it's got internal bleeding, which is brilliant because then hopefully it'll start losing health. I know it's crazy to say, isn't it? Uh, oh, but look at that with the fog. And the, oh, it looks so good. Okay, I have rearranged where the hatchery is. So now we get a lovely view of anything we're going to release. So hopefully that'll be the Therizinosaurus. And if possible, even, maybe the gig is in here. Because it kind of looked like the Jurassic World Giga. But we got Pyraptor here, right? Surely it's got it's gonna be fine. I think that one tree is casting a shadow on the Pyraptor. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. We got a final fight, I think. Dometrodon versus Pyraptor. When Pyra oh, okay. Oh, is that it? Oh. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Just got killed like that. Alright, well, fair enough, I suppose. Oh, at least we're look at it. Even its backbones is straight backwards like a bird. Interesting. Well, there you go. That's how that dies. Oh, the, oh. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. I like just little subtle animations like that look awesome. Right, so we've got Amber Level 3 research now. Giga, Sino, T-Rex, Velociraptor, Stigo, Stiggy, Triceratops, Athera. Okay, so we, we have to get a Thera. Oh, I want to see Pyraptor, Therizinosaurus, and possibly Giga. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> this will be the battle arena. Oh, the batch size is only one for the Therizinosaurus. Oh, that's interesting. I can't tell. I mean, yeah, this game hasn't been, you know, the DLC is not completely ready. Sometimes the Pyraptor looks a bit smooth. It could be because I'm like streaming this from Frontier. So maybe on, on the footage you see, because I'll get the footage, it'll look completely fine. But for me, it's like, eh, it's a little bit smooth just a just a teeny weeny bit okay so that is everybody done we'll now try and go get the giga so we've got triceratops dreadnoughtus velociraptor uh stego giga was here somewhere yes there's giga sweet uh so logistics sword nice 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 well you know what if anything let's just see the pyroraptor come out at a nice angle yes oh you know what we haven't done we haven't seen, like, a whole bunch of them being released. Oh, that looks cool. That looks so cool. But yes, that's what we should do. Here we go. Here we go. Here it is. Max release. Six out of six. Oh, they kind of all just walk out. Yes. Look <laughs> at Oh, yes. That looks so good. <laughs> Woohoo. They said it couldn't be done, and here they are. All of the Pyroraptors ready to kill the Demetrodons. I apologize. This is a new battle arena. Are you ready? We're about to see the first ever there is a source officially not a mod in Jurassic World Evolution 2. Oh, I'm so excited. Heck yeah, let's see. I want to hear it. I don't think I've ever heard it. Release, go. Oh, it's tall. Oh, yes. Oh. oh my god, yeah, that looks so cool. Look at those fingers, man. 
Wow! Oh, I love the feathers. I mean, what is threat levels? Five. So even if they're not happy, they can't break out. Oh, it's a little scratch of the head. Oh, that looks so good. Yes, that's awesome. Now we just need to see it fight. So apparently it's very territorial. Oh, 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 oh. What are you doing? Oh, God. Oh, a raptor's going to attack it? It seems like it's calling over something. Is it calling over that panoraptor? Oh, oh. If it just kicked something, that would be amazing. <laughs> Is it panicking? Oh, no, it's panicking. No, don't be afraid. I thought you would be badass. You're a coward, apparently. You're just a bit six-foot turkey. Oh, yep, there's a pyraptor attacking a Dometrodon. Fantastic. Yes, have a little sit. Oh, that's how you sit. Like a goose. Nice. Maybe, are they on the hunt or... No, they're panicking. Oh, they're scared of the Thera. Oh, that's interesting. We've got lots of fights with Dimetrodons. Just under 20 minutes left of the session. Okay, 20 minutes. I've just got my 20 minutes. Guys, we've got our 20 minutes. Uh, a Giga. If we could put a Giga in here. Oh my god, yes. Oh, another, another one. Yeah! <laughs> oh, it looks so big though. Look at this, man. It's massive. Come on, I want to see a Pyraptor take- Oh, yes. Oh, we killed it! Just like a pounce. No! Poor Dimetrodon. So Giga is now available. So let's have a look at the Giga. Uh, let's modify its genome. Does, does it have a skin? Yes, it does have a skin! I think you might die otherwise. Oh god, it's hungry. <laughs> it ran straight over to the ground leaf like, Yes, fine leaf. Oh, look at the way it eats! Oh, that's so cute! It like grabs it. It's like a sloth. Yeah, that must be the way they've got they've like done it. Okay, okay, so there we go. So we've got the Giga ready. So now we want to change it to accelerated growth. So synthesis and incubation time reduced by 25%. We've got two. We'll do that. Or prefers to sleep during the day. No, we'll go for this one. Yes, we'll go the one that wants to eat more, we'll go for. Heck yeah. Yes. Yes. And it's instead of eight minutes, it's only four minutes. So hopefully we can still get to see um, it in daylight. I'm hoping. Oh, there is Inosaurus having a little drink. I love how it's using its claws to prop itself up. Oh, careful. There might be a Claire in there. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You're just running over towards it. You don't like them, do you? So even though the Therizinosaurus doesn't get on with Pyraptor or Dimetrodon, they seem to be fine in an enclosure together. Uh, fight has begun. Oh, hold on! Fight has begun between the Therizinosaurus. Oh! And the Py- Oh, God! Oh, dear. Oh, oh no. My Therizinosaurus is going to die. I, I feel like my Therizin- Oh, okay. What? Yep. I think the Therizinosaurus might die. Yep. Oh, no. This isn't good. No, Therizinosaurus! No! I don't have money to buy another one. Ah! It's gonna be killed by them. Oh god. Oh god. I, I don't think there's anything I can do. Where's the vet vehicle? Mobilize! There is an Asaurus is on 50% health. 40 Oh, it's it's gone. It's gone. Oh well, there you have it. Yep. No, there is an Asaurus. Okay. Uh right, don't know why that came up. There is an Asaurus killed by Bugger off! Oh, I wanted to see it take on the Giga! You idiot, James. We don't have that money. Ah, ah, ah. You didn't say the magic word. Here we go. Release the Giga. The 2022 skin. Oh, it's, it has its clef. It still has it. Oh, yes. Gorgeous. Ooh, is that a new call? Oh, possibly. Yes, look at you! Unfortunately, in the night. Oh, we got two Pyroraptors, that's fine. Right, Therizinosaurus is ready. And I only need two million. Ah, bit of a bugger there. We got to see the Therizinosaurus. We got to see the Giga. In the night, unfortunately, but it still looks awesome. His arms seem a bit stiff. His arms seem a bit stiff. Yeah, the arms look a bit weird. <laughs> I'm assuming maybe it has bigger arms than the other one? I've got no money. We're in millions of pounds of debt. Dispense now! Oh, I think we got a kill with a goat. Oh, oh! Oh, lovely! So it just shows that even though it's a skin in the game, 
The actual whole dinosaur itself is new, with new animations and new poses and everything. They've just like hidden it inside a skin. Oh, here we go. Another hunt during the day. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Oh, that looks so good. You almost went out the fence though there. Let's see how a Giga does against a pack of Pyroraptors. Yes. I may not have money, but I spent it before. <laughs> Oh, look at- Oh my god! Look at that shot, man! That looks so good! Hello, Unfortunately, that's all the time we have- yeah! Okay, there it was! Jurassic World Evolution, the DLC, or at least the campaign, I suppose. Um, whether there's going to be more, of course, there's that what-if scenario, like the Chaos Theory, that seems to have a slot for Dominion as well. Um, or at least we got to see every dinosaur that's new, or at least the Therizinosaurus, the Dimetrodon, and the Giga. I'm assuming they're the main three that we're going to get. I'd be surprised if we got more, but hey, it can always have more. But if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye-bye.